Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube fam? Um, I've been thinking of a lot of great ideas lately and one of them is I'm just trying to bring as much value as I possibly can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be creating this week um, a free 4X mini course. It's probably gonna be one to three hours long. And within this mini course, it's just gonna be teaching like things that I think are very, very crucial as a Forex trader. A lot of you are new to the Forex space, so this is also gonna be a very good start. Um, I know there's a lot of people selling courses out there, like I have my course as well, but a lot of you do not have money. A lot of you probably are like, okay, well, everyone's selling these courses, which one is the right one? So that's why I'm like, let me just put together something that can be free for everyone. I'm not gonna charge anything. So I'm gonna drop that this week or the beginning of next week. I just wanna make sure I take a lot of time into it and make it very special for you guys. Without further ado, I hope that you guys are liking the content that I have been putting up recently. Um, what we're gonna be focused on this week is really just diving in over the key components as a forex trader, things that have been working for me. So in this video, I'm gonna go over like this simple, very simple strategy on using a couple of things that have really helped me as a trader. It's really like, the way that I like to think of the strategy is it's like the three strike rule in baseball. It's like you have three strikes then you're out. So we're gonna go over like keeping in the game how you're not gonna be blowing your account. I've been hearing from a lot of people, I'm blowing my account. So I'm gonna go over like the three key components as to how you're not gonna blow your account and also like some easy strategies to also incorporate into this trading. So I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys on the inside of my computer right now. Hola, hola. Um, welcome back traders to this video. Like I said, I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to be going over the three strike rule. So really, we don't need to be going over too much chart work, but we're still going to dive in over some stuff for you guys. So pop up. Okay. Um, also, you guys have probably seen in my videos, you're like, Colt, what is this platform that you're using? This is trading view. So whenever I'm doing my analysis, I'm not looking at like, um, sorry guys, I got a little sidetracked, but when I'm doing my analysis, I'm always looking at trading view first. That's when I'm going to overall get my bias on what I'm going to do in the markets. And then I'm going to go and execute on my MT4 app. So looks like we might be seeing a little setup right here, actually on NAS 100, the NASDAQ. We're hitting this support right here. So you guys, since we hit that support, closes a doji on our last one hour candle. We have 32 minutes left in this candle right here. So we could see a push up. Um, this would be a good opportunity to go long in the market. I'd expect price to go up to this zone right here. Obviously our stops for our protection order would be right around here. So when it comes to trading, this is the way that I'm gonna put it in terms of being a swing trader. Um, if you're swinging the market, Usually you're going to be holding trades for a longer amount of time, maybe one day, two days, three days, maybe even for a full week. So with the three strike rule, it's just like baseball. You have three strikes and you are out. If you do not hit your target or the ball within those three times, you're out, you're done. So when it comes to actually trading, I use this three strike rule when I'm trading, um, scalping the market, swinging the market. And the way that I do it is that if I'm scalping the market, um, I'm gonna be in and out of the markets. I'm gonna be doing a couple of trades per session or um, a couple of trades per day, but the limit of trades that I'll go into each day are three trades. And I want you guys to realize that you do not wanna be over trading. You do not wanna be in the markets all the time. And I've realized that a lot of people, when they trade, the reason as to why they trade is because they're trading out of boredom. They have nothing else to do. So they're like, you know what? Let me just go trade. And that's when you make mistake after mistake after mistake. So this isn't something that you're going to be doing all the time. It's like you can go play basketball whenever you want. Like it's a cool sport. It's a cool activity. But trading, this is like a job in a way. This is a skill set that you have to really dumb down and get to a point where you fully understand when you should be trading, how you should be trading, your strategy that you're using when it comes to trading. So a lot of people, they give up and they say Forex doesn't work, it's a scam, whatever they want to say because they do not understand the key components as to how a trader's mind thinks. So rule number one, don't trade out of boredom. Rule two is if you're a scalper, you don't want to be taking more than three trades a day. If you're a swing trader, I want to be taking more than three trades a week 
So hypothetically, think of it like this. If I'm trading the markets and I'm like, okay, perfect. I see a long position right here on mass 100. I'm going to go long. And let's say it hits my stop loss. Boom, strike one. I'm like, all right, perfect. I'm going to probably just go into one more trade for this session or I'm going to wait for the next session to open up to trade. Okay. I go into the trade again. Boom, hits my stop loss. Okay. One more strike. I have one more opportunity to get back into the market and see if I can um, make back my losses. And then let's say, boom, it hits my stop loss again. I'm not going to keep revenge trading and be like, okay, fuck, I lost three times. Like, I need to go back in the markets. I need to make that money back. Nah, there will be plenty of more setups. And that's something as well that a lot of people are doing is they're forcing the trade. Yo, when I'm trading, guys, I'm usually doing something like this. I have two screens pulled up here. I'm going to bring up the minute 15 or the minute 30 on this one. And then I'm going to look on this one at the minute 15. And it's already pulled up on the minute 15. And a lot of the time, I'm waiting for certain candles or certain charts to line up simultaneously with each other. So it is 1030 right now. That means that a new minute 15 candle just closed right here. And a new minute 15 or a new minute 30 candle just closed right here. And a new minute 15 candle closed right here. So that's giving us confirmation that like, okay, we need to be looking at both those time frames and kind of getting an understanding on what we're going to see happen next. So honestly, it's kind of looking bearish right here on the minute 30 time frame. We have that doji form. And this doji is closing more bearish and bullish, so we could see it drop sometime soon here. We could possibly see that. So this could be a good short opportunity. I'd maybe have my stops right around here. Let's make this red. You guys can see that it actually lines up. So when I do something on this chart, it lines up perfectly on this chart too. So at this point in time, like my bias is probably going to be more short, but at the same time, I'm not just going to rush into this trade and go, oh, well, I see a doji on the minute 30. Um, the It's looking bearish on the minute 15 too. Like, nah, I want a very, 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 very clear setup that's going to give me indication that the market's going to go the way that I expect it to go. So I'll usually sometimes be waiting and I'm like, okay, perfect. Um, we have 12 minutes left on this candle. Let me set a timer on my, can or on my phone for 12 minutes. And then once that goes off, I come back to the charts. And boom, I'm going to be executing on whatever I see. Um, obviously, like I said a second ago, like you want to wait for a very clear setup. So at the end of the day, guys, do not force trades. I see so many people doing that all the time. And that's why people are blowing their accounts. They just want to trade to trade. They're not actually understanding the whole um, aspect that goes behind trading. Actually, why we're going in these trades right here. Like I said a second ago, I think it's going to drop. And boom, look, it's already dropping. What I'm going to do is break it down to the minute five and see what's good. Yeah. So this would be a perfect little scalping opportunity right here. Boom. We had that bearish spinning top right there. Close. Two candles after that were straight drop. So let's see how many pips it dropped after that candle closed. Total it dropped. 233 pips like that guys literally within two five minute candles it dropped that much okay but really that's what i wanted to tell you guys i just want to put more mindset out there for you guys and make you realize like you can't be rushing the process you need to let the trades come to you and they will there's always going to be setups in the market a lot of the time two people are trading when there isn't a session going on there are really isn't any movement in the market going on and they're just expecting the market to move their way so definitely be cautious guys take your time and remember the three strike rule that's going to save you guys as long as you're using proper risk management a three to one risk reward ratio there's really no reason as to why you're going to be blowing your account so do not keep blowing your account guys it's going to get so frustrating and overwhelming and you're just going to give up on trading i promise you that but look out for that free mini course that I'm going to drop this week. It's probably going to be in the link in my description. And obviously, I'm going to drop, um, or when I drop the video, when it's out, I'm going to tell you guys in the beginning of the video, yo, the mini course is out, blah, blah, blah. But look at it drop, guys. See, it's fucking dropping right now. So this would be co good confirmation to short it right there. And that's why I tell you guys, look at multiple time frames because time frames do not lie. So overall, our bias on the one hour now, 
Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to go up. We'll see what happens. It could go down and retest us a little, then go up. But at this point in time, as we're looking at these smaller time frames, my bias would be more short. And also, I would not have jumped into the trade as it's dropping right now. So a good opportunity is when you see two um, time frames line up. As soon as the candle closes, that's when you want to execute the trade. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.